Hi everyone, I'm Bernard from Moon. I do service and support. Don't let the French Canadian accent fool you. This is going to be easier than it sounds. The Mind. That's the acronym for Moon Intelligent Network Device. Ever since its release, Moon has increased number of products incorporating this outstanding feature. Everybody wants one. Regardless of your Moon Mind product, it's always preferable to use a wire connection if you want to stream anything above CD quality. A wire connection between your router and your mind. This way you benefit from the stability of the network. For this demo, you will need the Moon Mind app controller found on the App Store for Apple device or Android device. You will need a router, preferably aftermarket, a network cable, and inevitably a mind product. In this occurrence, it will be the Neo Mind. First off, always make sure the mind device is powered down before making any connection. Then let's make sure the router is powered on. Let's make the wired connection between the router. and the mind. Let's power on the mind. Once your Moon product has stopped its initialization process, let us engage standby. Now you can launch the Moon Mind controller app. Now let's go in the App Store and download our app. It's called Moon Mind Controller App. If you have an Android device, the Moon Mind Control App is available in Google Play Store. Let's make sure our mobile device is on the same network as the Mind. Go in Settings, select Wi Fi. This is important. Your mobile device may have gone to another network it kept in memory. This would prevent you from seeing the mine in your app. Let's launch the mine app. The mine should appear in your zone below. It probably has a weird sequence of characters. That's the MAC address. While we're at it, let's rename our mine with something a little more friendly. Select the gear to access settings. Select your mind and select name. Select rename. Now let's go back using the return arrow and get in our mind. On your left, you have the playing zone and on your right is the browsing area. And please refer to the mind app tutorial for a detailed overview of the app. Right now, we'll focus on the setup of the Streamer Witcher network. Something's wrong? Let's fix this. Okay. Let's say you launch your Mind app and you get this. Mind not found. What? How could be? Okay, maybe the network is a bit lazy. You can slide your finger across the zone area to refresh. That is good on Apple product only. For Android, close the application and relaunch it again. Still not found? First reflex. Check your Wi-Fi on your mobile device. Are you still in the same router? Make sure that your mind and router have a solid wired connection. You can reboot your router as well. Once fully rebooted, you can reboot your mind. Very important to wait for the router to reboot completely before powering on the mind. Because, remember this, when you power on the mine, it will look once for an Ethernet connection. If nothing is found, it'll then look for a wireless network if configured in the first place. So having a mine not found may very well mean that the network has lost it. Of course, we strongly recommend buying a dedicated router from a trusted company. We get now and then the support calls for mine not found, and we usually solve it by bypassing the modem's router 
or your cheap router with a new one. Nowadays, internet service providers want to sell us their modem slash router solution. You picked up a premium streamer, so why compromise on the router? The mind requires a stable network signal to provide the best sound to you. So if you ever encounter problems connecting with your mind using your mobile device, you might want to look up into upgrading your router. Thanks for watching.